We want to bring back our gaggle very quickly. Former Governor Bob Ehrlich, Aisha Moody Mills, and David Hawkins. I want to talk about the topic of immigration right now, which ultimately is the biggest topic here, at least in Washington. And get your sense, we spoke to Senator Menendez a short time ago. He said July 4th is the date. He said, we'll get this thing done by July 4th. But they acknowledge Marco Rubio, among others, has been a challenge as they reignite this issue of border security. Does this get done or does it break up? It gets done. But Senator Rubio has to protect a lot of things, including his political future, by the way, because he's staking a lot on this. You know, the Gang of Eight, he's the leader. The National uh, Review has a column called Rubio's Folly that comes out almost, you know, there's immediately. There are some shots from the right. There's a lot of support from the right, by the way. It depends on which commentator uh, on the conservative side you're talking to. But I do believe, forget the politics just for a second, forget personal <laughs> ambition just for a second, even in Washington, we have to get a bill done for the country. It, 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 I think it's, it's We do, important but there's also, there's also there's politics, politics that underscores sure. this. And I mean, I think that Lindsey Graham said it best. He said the GOP is in a demographic death spiral. And they know this. They know that they are completely going to lose. There's not going to be a future of the GOP without uh, a Latino vote if, if they can ga uh, galvanize any. And so I think that that's really going to push them to get something done as well. The Supreme Court said Arizona's law requiring proof of citizenship is illegal. Does that change this debate in any way? Well, it, it actually does quite tangibly. We think that... Uh, Today, there will be an amendment offered that would that would essentially overturn or, or, or Ted Trump. Cruz is presenting right? Ted, Ted Cruz is going to present an amendment that would allow states uh, such as Arizona, and there are about three or four others, to add this requirement to their voter registration uh, rules. It'll, it, it, to me, it will be um, a very good sign of just how strong the coalition is to, to fight off the, the so-called Gang of Eight poison pill amendments. Uh, I think that it will be very close. But it does not overturn the constitutionality of photo ID, which the Supreme Court's upheld Indiana case, as you know, which is common sense. Very quickly, does John Boehner let everybody vote, or is it going to be Hastert rules? You abide by the Hastert rule there. I don't think he's going. To, I, I don't think this bill majority has a the chance to to pass under any circumstances with a majority of Republican votes in the House. I think the only way that it will ever come before the House is if he relaxes the Hastert rule. Even under the best of circumstances in the Senate, only a third of Republican senators are going to vote for this. There's no way half the Republican House members will vote for it. Shameless plugs, if we can, before we say goodbye, David, you lead off. Uh, eight months after uh, Hurricane Sandy, I want to give a shameless plug to everybody who got my house, my father's house, rebuilt Good. on the Jersey Shore. We're happy to hear that, Aisha. Senator from American Progress has a report out on immigration reform showing that uh, over the next 36 years as baby, baby boomers are retiring, this is going to be great for Social Security. Over $600 billion are going to be raised uh, through immigration reform just for having more citizens. All right, this is personal. Sorry. You're entitled. New book done. Publisher almost there. Announcement soon. This is personal. One month from today, expecting our first child, baby Ooh. class. Last night, I learned oh, how to nice. swaddle. Awesome. So to my that wife, Allison, personal. to my wife, Allison, patient. We're almost there, baby. I promise you. <laughs> Thank you guys very much. I appreciate wow. it. That's this edition of the Daily Rundown. Tomorrow on the show, Chuck will be live from Berlin, Germany. We will have the president's speech live from the Brandenburg Gate. Coming up next on MSNBC, Chris Chan.